Joining us next on technical stage is Ming Wen from Apache. He's the API uh, Apache API 6 PMC chair at Apache Software Foundation. Uh, the focus of the session will be Hello. next generation microservice architecture based on Apache Hello. API 6. <clears throat> Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hmm. Can you put your slide into the presentation mode? And share. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you, me. I can. OK, OK. It's my time, right? Yes. Uh, <clears> can you share okay. the screen? Your yeah, slide is not yeah. visible. Can you see my slides? Yes. Yes, yes I can. OK. 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 <clears throat> hello. Over to you. OK. OK. Uh, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm very happy to be here, have the opportunity to talk about uh, uh, API in API days. Uh, today, my topic is the uh, next generation microservice architecture based on Apache API 6. Uh, first, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm Ming Wen. I come from China. Uh, I'm the co founder and the CEO of uh, Apache API 6, uh, of CEO of API 7.net, AI, which is an open source startup company. I'm also the VP and the PMC chair of Apache API 6, and I'm the uh, Skywalking committer. OK. <clears throat> uh, I'm the founder of the Chihu C360 open source committee, Tencent Cloud TVP, and I have, I have more than 40 security patent. Um, let me introduce my, uh, our open source startup company first. Uh, we raised 10 millions of dollars in last year. Uh, we hope to use Apache API 6 to connect all services, the north source traffic of the API gateway, Kubernetes traffic of ingress controller, and the east west traffic between services. Yes, uh, I think it's mean all L7 traffic. Uh, in our company, most engineers are Apache committer. We hear them from the Apache 6 uh, community. Uh, what's more worth motion is that we use many great tools to help us to uh, work from uh, home. Yes, we remote work, including the GitHub, Slack, Google Workspace, and the Tencent meeting. Uh, the engineers can, uh, can have the work-life balance in our company. So you can reach me by this email. Uh, in today's topic, I will introduce uh, two parts. Uh, the first one is a brief introduction of the Apache API 6. What is Apache API 6? Maybe you don't know, you never heard about it. And uh, what can Apache API 6 help us to deal with? Um, and the second part is why API 6, we call that it's the next generation API gateway. What's the difference between API 6 and uh, other similar API gateways. Uh, if, if we still have time, uh, we have another question and uh, answer session. OK, let's go through today's topic. Uh, the first part is I will introduce the Apache API 6. First of all, let me briefly introduce Apache API 6. In one um, sentence, API 6 is a cloud native API gateway. Yes, uh, here is a report address of API 6 on GitHub. Apache API 6 is a very young project. It was open sourced uh, almost two years ago, and we donated uh, API 6 to the Apache incubator in October. And uh, in, in July 2020, API 6 became a top level project of Apache Software Foundation. So API 6 is a very fast growing community. It only took nine months from the incubator to Apache top level project. Uh, for developers who are not familiar with Apache API 6, you can similar think uh, API 6 is a better version of Nginx, which covers all features of Nginx while using Lula to bring more dynamic features to Nginx. Uh, API 6, uh, uh, you can think it's uh, like a uh, very powerful 
uh, API gateway based on Nginx. Um, also, we use Nginx as our base, but API 6 discard Nginx's uh, route matching status configurations and C modules. We don't use that. API 6, we write all of them by ourselves. So API 6 is, uh, I think API 6 is power than Nginx because it's all dynamic in API 6. It's also the biggest feature of API 6 is dynamic. All things in API 6 it can uh, configuration uh, through the, the main API, the RESTful API, including routing, SSL search, plugin, etc. In Apache API 6, all features are dynamic configured through the admin API without restart the service and all. In Apache API 6, users' business need, needs all realized by using Lula to develop customer plugins. API 6 now has more than 40 built-in plugins, including uh, all uh, limit rate, limit request, security, observability, logging, metrics, etc. Uh, which base covers all the features that user may use in the enterprise. In one word, I think API 6 is uh, power than Kong, and Kong is already cover all features of Nginx. So welcome to try API 6 if you want to use uh, API 6 as an API gateway. Um, this is a technical architecture of Apache API 6. Um, from this, we can see that API 6 has two parts. Uh, the left one is the data plan, and the right one is the control plan. So let's first look at the data plan. After the user's request is processed through the Apache API 6, um, it can be passed to the uh, backend uh, services like the private API, public API, or partners API. Uh, inside the API 6, the plugins are uh, built in a way similar to Lego bricks. You can easily remove or add a plugin without restart the service. Then let's look at the control plan. In the control plan, uh, the administrator can write the configurations to the etcd cluster through the admin API. And then API 6 data plan will watch etcd so that the configurations can reach all data plans with uh, million seconds. After the node of the data plan process the data, then they uh, report some metrics and the logging data to components such as Skywalking, uh, Zipkin, etc. Uh, from, uh, from this picture, we can see that API 6 only relays uh, on etcd. So uh, API 6 does not have RDS like MySQL or Postgre. API 6 don't relay the, this component, this database. Therefore, API 6 is uh, uh, better designed for high available. At the same time, API 6 also keeps simple for development and ops. Uh, then let's take a look at what can API 6 do for you. API 6 can handle uh, L4 and uh, L7 traffics. So include uh, the HTTP, HTTPS, TCP, UDP, MQTT, and other protocols. So you can use API 6 to uh, handle the traffic from the uh, IoT drivers or uh, your mobile phone client. So at the same time, uh, API 6 can also play as the role of load balance. Um, it's similar to the i5 and Nginx. Of course, API 6 are, is also an API gateway. API 6 can do all jobs about load balance and other features of API gateway. Uh, apart from this, API 6 can also uh, play as Kubernetes ingress controller. You can visit this open source project to get more information. And, the least, but not the, uh, and last but not the least, we can also use API 6 in service mesh. Um, API 6 can work with Istio because API 6 mesh supports XDS APIs. 
Therefore, API Assist can help you to handle all traffic from the client to service. You don't need to care about whether traffic is come from the mobile phone, it's come from the uh, service, whether it's the east, west, or north, south traffic. API Assist can handle all L7 traffic. Uh, this picture is the landscape of Apache API 6. Look at this from the left. API 6 supports uh, many uh, L4 and uh, L7 protocols. It not only supports traffic from the mobile app, but also supports various of IoT drivers to uh, report traffic to API 6. API 6 also supports many services. Uh, discovery centers, including the ETCD, console, Nichols, and other uh, discovery centers. As a very important uh, in infrastructure software, API Gateway is a general place and the entrance of traffic. Therefore, uh, API Gateway is not only need to process all requests from client, but also need to connect connect to some backend services such as Skywalking, Daydog, Kafka, etc. Uh, and at the bottom of this picture, API 6 uh, not, not only support running on the uh, VM, but also can run on the public clouds. We also support running API 6 on ARM platform. Uh, and the, and uh, hundreds of companies are already using Apache API 6. Uh, for example, uh, in China, when you buy uh, uh, air ticket, or you buy new tea, watch news, online videos, um, or online educations, Apache API 6 is working behind them. So it's well used in China. Uh, and the Europe factory platform and NASA are also used uh, are also users of API 6. If you want a great API gateway, you can make a try. And this picture compares some well-known API gateways. Uh, they are, all of them are open source projects such as API 6, Glue, TYK, and Kong. Um, contributors are the king of the open source projects, in my opinion. Uh, more contributors, the more popular and uh, stable. From this picture, we can see that the growth of Apache API 6 contributor is uh, fasted. Uh, also, API 6 is the youngest uh, open source project of, of all of them. According to this growth, API 6 will be the open source API gateway project with the most contributors in this year. Developers are the easiest uh, to discover the best technologies so you can follow their choice. So let's talk about uh, why I think API 6 will be the next generation API gateway. Um, API gateway should not just uh, do the load balance work and, and not just the reverse proxy. API Gateway should not only for traffic. Um, under Cloud Native, companies will deploy APIs and services in public cloud, on-premise, or hybrid cloud. API Gateway should be able to connect their APIs and services together, um, whatever these API come from. Enterprise users don't need to care about where these API are deployed, just use them. Uh, once one step forward, where we are process the traffic, uh, can we analyze the data in this traffic? If we can analyze the data and the response in real time to the client, it will bring more valuable to the business. And more, and the micro microservice architecture, we will have hundreds or thousands of microservice. While processing their traffic between services, uh, we also need to let developers know the running status of their services. We call that observability. So API Gateway needs to record their 
metrics, logging, tracing data, and send them to the backend services. For example, Skywalking, Zipkin. Finally, as API Gateway become more and more important in the microservice architecture, not only developers need to do the customer development, sometimes uh, product managers, security team, and the ops also need to use API Gateway. So how API Gateway uh, helps them? I think API Gateway should be friendly for all of them. It's not easy to do all of the above. Um, API 6 has made some try, and we'll, I will introduce it below. Um, there, uh, there are a lot of open source projects for L7 traffic. Uh, also, they have different names, such as load balance and service mesh or Kubernetes ingress controller. But now, let me uh, simply think that they are uh, all API gateways. Uh, absolutely, it's not correct, but just for a uh, better understanding, because most of them features are the same. H uh, Nginx, we know that Nginx can handle north source traffic, and Envoy can handle east west traffic. And in Kubernetes, there is an ingress uh, controller. In many banks, they use uh, Java Spring called Gateway to handle their traffic between the services. Yes, uh, there, there is also has service mesh. So from the, from so you know, there are so many components like uh, API gateways. The traffic journey of the client's uh, request is very long. And uh, are they all necessary? Uh, and I don't think so. Why not use only one solution for the load balance, API gateway, Kubernetes, ingress controller, and the service mesh, which means load development, uh, load development and uh, uh, low cost. But how to do that? Um, how to do that with one solution, one uniform solution? So, uh, so we want to use API 6 to do this. This picture on the left is the status now with many different components. There are Nginx, Kong, Envoy, uh, Java Spring, uh, uh, Java Spring uh, Cloud Gateway, uh, Zoe, you can ask for in our systems. The picture on the right is a solution of API 6. Let's look down from the top. API 6 is based on Nginx, yes. So API 6 can replace Nginx for load balance and a very low cost. API 6 is designed as a cloud native API gateway. So the location of the API gateway is not a problem. Kubernetes ingress controller mean really on the data plane. So it's own feature, it's not difficult. We can also use API 6 to do that. And I think the real challenges uh, Java Spring Cloud Gateway and the Service Mesh. API 6 will support Java to uh, Java and Golang to write customer plugins. So I think you can use API 6 uh, works very well with the uh, Java corner, uh, ecosystems. Now we will talk about uh, uh, Service Mesh later. Uh, for business users, performance is not the key. But uh, if you want to face all environments, performance cannot be ignored. API 6 performance has always been its advantage. Uh, in the case of very high QPS, API 6 can also stay a very low latency. In our public benchmark report, API 6 is 10 times than other API gateway projects. In the case of your high traffic, good performance can help you to this uh, to save cost. And then let let's talk about developer. Uh, more developers means more contributions and uh, more company use and uh, more stable. So we can see that the open source projects of API Gateway support more popular program languages to write the customer plugins. For Kong, Lula is a native plugin 
program language and also support uh, Golang. C++ is a native plugin program language for Envoy. And uh, Envoy is also support Lula and uh, Wasa. And Envoy is uh, ready to support Golang. API 6 support Lula uh, will also support, uh, and uh, API 6 will support uh, Java, Golang, and uh, WebAssembly. Uh, support more and more programming languages in API Gateway. So I think it's very interesting. Um, we know that the core of Kong, Envoy, and API 6 are written by C or C++ programming languages. <clears throat> um, but at the same time, uh, Kong, API 6, and Envoy all support more popular and more easy use program languages to write custom plugins. The development of API Gateway is getting easier and easier. I think it's a good thing. Uh, finally, uh, let's look ahead to how to let more people use the API Gateway. Uh, how does the uh, product manager and uh, ops write plugins for API Gateway? Both of them don't know how to program and you cannot let them to learn how to code. So API 6 support uh, plugin orchestration. Um, uh, um, so you can use the exist uh, plugins to make a, a new plugin just uh, through the GUI. Uh, like children learn program language from the sketch. So I think the bar is very low. You can see a demo on our set. Uh, you can see a demo on our website. Uh, this feature is also open sourced, so you can enjoy it. Okay, let's review today's topic. Uh, we use Apache API 6 to implement a solution for processing all L7 traffic with very good performance and all features of North source and the East West traffics. Uh, then API 6 keeps a low bar and the and the easy way for everyone to use. We support more popular program languages and uh, even the local. Uh, there are features that API 6 already has. As a fast growing open source project and a community, Apache API 6 will add more features. More features. We hope API 6 is the best choice for the cloud native. So if, I, if you are interested in API 6, uh, please take a look and the GitHub repo. Okay, thank you. Hi, Ming. Uh, it's moving on to yes. the Q and A. Uh, moving on to the okay. Q and A, there is one question: uh, How does API six implement dynamic SSL certificate? Uh, okay, uh, API six is based on Nginx, and we use the Lula. Uh, uh, inside the API 6. So we use the Lula to control the NGX's, NGX. So I think uh, all the dynamic features are uh, implemented by the Lula VM in the NGX. Uh, maybe you can um, mm, take a look at the OpenST. So OpenST is also the uh, core of API 6. We do that based on OpenST. Okay, so uh, what, what is the lead time to uh, production for a somebody who is adopting API six? How much time it uh, will take? Uh, they from the uh, uh, they want to they already use Nginx, so they want to use API six now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, for most uh, users, the cost is very low because. Um, all NGX configurations can write in the API, API 6 directly, yes. Okay. Great. Uh, thanks, Ming. Uh, thanks for the wonderful session. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, all the best on the project. <laughs> Wishing all the success. Okay, thank you. see you.